We're going to be using natural fiber mohair for rooting the hair. This mohair is a long length. It's longer than what we need for rooting. So I went ahead and cut off a length of this mohair and put a rubber band around it. I like to root from the cut end of the mohair rather than folding the hairs, rather than rooting from the center, which would fold the hairs in half. That helps the hair to lay nicer and reduces the frizziness that you get if you root from the center of the hair. I'm going to take this lock of hair and I'm going to start in the back of the head a little bit off center where the crown would be. And I'm just going to hold this lock of hair here and using our micro root rooting tool I'm going to just punch it down into the vinyl this particular needle is a forked needle. And we have other types of needles that have barbs. And I'm going to rotate the mohair to form a little circular pattern at the crown. The forks of the needle are grabbing the hair and pushing it down inside of the scalp. And it's also a good idea to hold the needle on an angle towards the crown as you're, as you're rooting so that your needle is always facing towards your crown. Now I'm rooting about a quarter, between a quarter of an inch to a half an inch from the ends of the hair. We want to make sure that we're grabbing enough hair to go down inside the vinyl. The vinyl, once the hair goes down into the vinyl and the needle is removed, the tension of the vinyl will hold the hair in place fairly well. But after we're done, we're going to apply some glue to the inside of the head to secure the hair even more. Since I'm using a forked needle, I've got a line on my rooting tool that lines up with the fork in the needle so that the line goes in the same direction as my hairs. This won't, wouldn't be necessary if you're using a needle with barbs, which makes the barbed needles better for beginners. Now that I've finished rooting the crown, we're going to root along the hairline. I'm going to start up just above the ear and come up and down to form a little bit of a widow's peak and then back up down to our ear. Then we're going to go around the back of the ears across the back of the head. And then after we've formed the hairline, we'll fill the rest of it in towards the crown. I'll go ahead and start right down here by the ear. And as I'm rooting, I don't want to go too fast with these fork needles. It has a tendency to not pick up as many hairs as you would like if you go too fast. You can experiment with the various needles that you might may be using on the speed. If you're not getting any hairs, in, then you might need to just slow down. Also, I have stuffed the head with paper towels or you can use cloths while I'm rooting so that the head will hold its shape and not push in too far to give me better control while rooting. Six to eight hours later, we have a completely rooted head. 
I'm going to now seal the hair from the inside to make it stronger so that it won't fall out while you're combing and styling it. I'm going to do this using a pair of hemostats with a cosmetic wedge clipped into it. And then I'm going to use gem tack glue. And I'm just going to squirt some glue around in there. And you want enough so that you can coat all the hairs inside well. It doesn't need to be too thick, but you do want to make sure that all of the hairs are coated with the glue. And after you've got the glue in there, you're going to go ahead and let that dry. Um, you can let it dry overnight, m making sure that that air can get inside of the base of the neck so that it can dry well. Once the glue is dry, we're going to go ahead now and cut and style the hair. I like to use a razor comb for trimming the hair. This will give the baby's hair an uncut look. And I just start in the middle and comb the hairs up. I like to leave the hair a little bit longer in the front than I do on the sides. And when you're doing this, you don't want to take too much hair off. You can always go back and trim more hair off if you're not happy with the results. I like to cut the hair a little bit shorter up around the ears and leave a little length to come down the side of the ears. Now that the hair is all cut and trimmed, we are going to style the hair. I'm going to spray a little bit of mohair conditioner in the hair. And then take a soft baby brush and you can comb the hair. If you want a straight look, you can just comb the hair down straight. Kind of Comb it in a circular pattern around your crown. And if you feel like your mohair stands up away from the head a little too much, if you put a nylon stocking over the head and allow the hair to dry with a nylon stocking over, then that will flatten the hair down. If you're happy with the way that the mohair is standing on the head, then you can just leave it and comb it the way you want. You can add curls in the mohair by just kind of lifting up on the hair and you can set little curls in. And then when it dries, the little curls will remain in the hair. You can also comb it up in the center if you like that look or just comb it any way you like. And once you get the hair how you want it, you can go ahead and just let that dry. 
the mohair conditioner will add sheen to the hair. And you can add the conditioner as often as you like. If you want to restyle the hair, 